Welcome to another video with the ANA Mustangs. Today's video, we're gonna be doing some Coyote shenanigans. We have the Coyote engine. As you guys have seen the post, it's gonna go in this Challenger right here. Um, so today, uh, we have the engine out here. I'm gonna get my engine hoist, pull it out, attach the transmission, and we're gonna test fit it. See um, how it's gonna look, what all I'm gonna have to modify what the suspension is gonna look like and go from there. So stay tuned. All right, so as you guys know from the last video, this is a actually 2014 Coyote. I thought it was 2013, but it's out of 2014 Mustang GT. Track pack too. Track pack, so it does have the oil cooler, which um, if I'm able to get these lines, I might leave that on there, but if not, I might just get rid of it. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be a like a track car. It'd be a, maybe going to the draft ship a couple of times, but um, you know, this is just gonna make a lot more hoses and things like that but that's going to be once the engine's in there so i'm not even worried about that now uh, what i am going to do is pull it out of the engine stand here um, i do have the transmission and in later videos i will explain a little bit more of what we're doing um, why i'm going with this setup here um, but this is kind of just a test fitting stage but I do have a 4R70W transmission here. And so this mounts to that engine. I'm gonna bolt that on there. Uh, we're gonna probably take the torque converter so it's not as heavy. This is an 8.8 .8 rear end. This is out of an Explorer. So it's got 373 gears. Mm -hmm. And we're also gonna put this in there. Um, again, we'll probably go a little bit more into it in later videos, but uh, we're not gonna do nothing with that today. Today's just gonna be you know, let's see how the transmission and engine gets in that engine bay. So next thing is to grab my engine hoist, which is back there, engine hoist, roll it out there, get the engine on it. And then uh, we'll show you guys once we have that done. Okay, we have the hoist all hooked up to the engine here. So I'm gonna lift it, uh, unbolt it from here. I'm gonna use the same bolts to hook up the transmission, just put like a couple bolts. Um, and then we'll get it in there um i'm also gonna install some headers that i got so i can see how they fit in there what the clearance looks like and like i said in the later videos i'll kind of talk about the flywheel and all that to make that transmission work this is just a test fit video um you know i think a lot of you guys didn't realize or maybe you didn't believe that we were actually gonna put this engine in there but um once we get the transmission out here we'll show you guys what that looks like all right so i was just looking at the flex plate um that we're gonna go to run the 4 70 w and so the dust fit everything looks good so far um you just gotta line up the holes and so uh, i'm not gonna put this under now i did get some new um, arp bolts hardware for that um, i do have to get a pilot bearing puller to pop this out of place because I'm going with automatic so the usually the um, torque converter has a little like little spout little nipple that goes right in this area so you can leave that in there um, but anyways we're gonna take the torque converter out of the tranny now so that's okay as it is for now and then we're just gonna bolt it as is so all right so we have the transmission and the engine made it um, it's just provisional we did come into a little bit of a problem with the torque converter not lining up with that flex bit that I showed you guys earlier. And so from what we, you know, kind of look, people say for our 70W, it'll fit. I think the torque converter of the Mustangs has a smaller diameter bolt pattern. And so didn't match. So I don't know if I'm going to, I'm going to try to order a different flex plate 
and see if that fixes it or just drill holes on the new flex plate you know whatever um, but as you can see we're gonna get ready to push this in here and see what it looks like I haven't put the headers on there yet I'm gonna put it in there like that and then we'll probably uh, slip the headers in and see what that looks like afterwards but um, yeah it's it's happening so we're gonna kind of drop it in there and then show you guys what it looks like So after uh, some struggling, uh, I did have to take the bolts off the front of the hood like I did when we pulled the other engine out just to, you know, have the the hoist. Because, you know, the chain is kind of high, so obviously if we, I mean, I could possibly make the chain tighter and lower the, um, the angle there so it's not pointing up on the chain. So maybe we'll try that now when we pull it out. Um, if we pull it out, you know, it lives in here so nicely that I almost just want to leave it in here. So couple of things anyone trying this at home but you know don't do this at home uh the steering linkage right now that's as far as back as we can put this engine because that linkage down there um it can clear and you can kind of see it um but if we lift the engine a little bit or i think right now it's kind of clearing uh, but when you turn it it does move forward a little bit and so that's as far back as we could put the engine. Now that puts the engine about uh, seven inches from the firewall, yeah. which is kind of a little bit forward. If you look at the front of the car, you know, the engine is a little bit farther than the tires. So that will make it a little bit nose heavy, although engine is lighter, so no big deal. Oil filter with the cooler is hitting the factory K member here and then the other thing is factory on this car the engine is a little bit more to the passenger side because even the transmission tunnel is kind of upset a little bit so you know if you see the engine is kind of far away on this side yeah, which makes sense maybe for your steering shaft and all that but on the other side here it's uh pretty much right at the shock tower here um, which i believe the headers kind of go up around this area so we technically couldn't have it this far this way nope. now if you also look at the engine it's a little bit tilted this way and that could be where we mounted the chain um you know if it was straight then it would go a little bit more that way and get farther away this way so we could fit the header on this side um but as of right now you know that's there's a few things that are kind of on the way um from what I can see though, here the, um, what is that thing, a torsion bar, suspension, yeah. it's about six inches from the transmission. And I'll get a tape measure, I'm gonna measure that um, because I can put the header on the engine when we pull it back out and see how far it's from the transmission just to see if it's gonna clear down there. This side, um, it's about eight inches, so it's got more room, but again, if we do pull the engine this way, Gonna that's gonna reduce that so i'm gonna do all those measurements junior does have the uh, nice chrome headers here so you know he's gonna try to guide that in here ebay specials um yeah ebay you know ebay motors whatever their slogan is now i don't know <laughs> but ebay anyways um he's gonna stick these in there just stick it in there man at this point, there's nothing you can scratch. It's all rusty. I don't want to scratch the header. Well, I guess the header, you can't scratch the header. You know what? Maybe it's easier from the bottom. Fair enough. Um, we're going to see. I just want to see if we can get one in with this kind of, you know, factory suspension on the car. I am going to change it so either I'm gonna go with like a K member um, like a tubular K member maybe I don't know I'm just thinking of doing something different than the factory just to also give us more room but okay. 
I'm gonna set you guys down for a second because uh, I need two hands here. Hold on, Junior. Okay. The stud on the head is on the way, so let me go back. Hold on. Yeah, pull it back down, maybe. Okay, so we fitted the header. It does fit on this side. Um, surprisingly, it goes around this steering shaft, this gearbox, perfectly. I thought that was gonna be a problem with headers. Not whatsoever. Um, although if we move the engine this way, it's, it's, I mean, we still have a few inches. So I think we're good as far as this. Um, we're gonna try to pull the engine backwards. So that would give us more room around the gearbox, which that's the main problem there. Definitely the, where the motor mount down there, I mean, that's gonna keep us from pulling the engine this way, bring, doing, pretty much doing any of that. So that's the problem. Also, the header was hitting the torsion, the bar. torsion bar going yeah. back on this side. And this side is further away than that side. So that's a problem. Yep. I mean, we can always cut it and then weld it offset or something. Huh? How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Do uh, no. um, so, you know, that's kind of the things. The steering. Hey, what if we cut the steering and then just put like bars down so it goes under? As long as it doesn't know well, they'll be okay. Yeah. Um, I don't think that would be good for safety. Anyways, now we know really what we need to do as far as the suspension underneath to get the engine in here. Um, you know, definitely I would want to have it about four inches farther back. Yep. Even at this mm -hmm. point, I mean, we have room for a radiator and... Slim fan, maybe. You know a fan um you know you can always put the fan on the front but i really would want the engine further back so um, as far as underneath the transmission looks pretty good on the tunnel um nothing really hitting maybe uh, maybe slightly on top uh which it's no big deal i mean you know maybe like in this area right up there uh which when i do the floorboard I mean, right now, half of the floorboard is not there, so I could just cut a piece on top. And that way I know, okay, does the tranny need to go up? And then the new floorboard, I can just modify it so it's a little bit higher on the hump. No big deal there. Um, here on the front, if we go four inches, the belt housing of the tranny is gonna be right about, you know, where the opening is. And then if we're able to drop the engine on the front about two inches, that is definitely gonna, help that part on the back so yep. um you know there's a few things so now we know what our plan is so pulling the engine out uh, right back out now and then um putting it back in the stand and all that good stuff but uh and then figuring out that flex plate i have no idea what's gonna happen there but i'll let you guys know as we move through that so we got a couple ideas um I'm, we're gonna pull this engine back out <laughs> uh it's probably gonna be harder taking it out than it went in but it does fit though the hood will close it does fit yeah right there the hood will close uh it is kind of high though i would want it at least two inches lower on the front the Just back guess you want activities up here too you know the one back is not bad but i would want the front to be down at about two inches or three um i would love to be able to move the engine this way about two inches just to keep clearance for the header on the side and so you know a few things i mean i can always cut that piece there on the bottom modify that for the motor mounts anyway so that's not a big deal at this point but the main thing is the steering we can't you know just no, cut and work. modify that so all right we're gonna pull this out and then we'll uh touch base once we're done all right so we got the engine back inside um just fitted the engine on the challenger all ready for the next steps so stay tuned for our build. Um, hopefully there's gonna be a good surprise coming up on what we're gonna do to make the Coyote fit in there pretty good. Um, stay tuned, you know, it's gonna be slow coming of the videos because I gotta, you know, parts save up and buy the parts and things like that. But um, that is coming. I'm gonna try to get it done this, this year, actually. That's my goal too. The car's not gonna be done, but it's gonna be on the road driving as it looks but driving so um, thank you for watching stay tuned for the next videos uh, keep working on the challenger if you have any questions comments 
leave them below, subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next one.